The world is a vampire. Ah yes, nothing quite beats the impassive desolation of a loading screen, lasting seemingly forever, going on for a bleak eternity and representing the ultimate folly of man, that he is infinitely awaiting some slight meaning to his existence that simply never comes. Also, they piss people off, so that's fun too. And speaking of pissing... Hello there, my name's Mr. Sweeney Todd. Would you care for a shave? <laughs> I suppose that's what you call catching them with their pants down. <laughs> that bloke should really go see a doctor. I found lots of blood in his urine. <laughs> okay, I'll stop now. Ah uh, yes, vampires, creatures of the night, known for passing under cover of darkness by hunching over awkwardly and walking like a crab with two broken legs. Uh, I like the cut of this guy's jib. <laughs> oh wait, that's his throat. I love conducting impromptu tracheotomies. Imagine being that guy and getting to the afterlife and having to explain to your friends how you died. Oh yes, I, I got killed by a vampire. Oh, did he suck your blood or something? No, he, he stabbed me. Oh, well, that's rather lame. That's kind of a lame death, you stabbed by a vampire. I mean, did you put up much of a fight? No, he, he got me from behind, he just sort of stabbed me. Oh, well, how did you die? Oh, I got shot in the face by a werewolf. That's, that's still better than mine. All you need is blood. Yeah, da 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 da. Well, hobos are basically the vampire equivalent of food trucks. Yo, what the fuck is going on here tonight? Uh-oh, somebody speaking generic video game thug language. I'd better get my universal translator out. Excuse me, gentlemen, I'm going door-to-door -door selling knives. Would you care to try this one? As you can probably feel, its serrated edge allows it to slice through even the thickest of materials. Ah, that's an impressively built tire iron, but I'm afraid its cutting ability is lacking when placed next to our slicey McDyserson 9000. Made in China. Order now for only 999.99, while stocks last. Mm, I love a good train yard, so many places to store bodies. I swear, I'm trying to be sneaky, but I think that the character animation actually makes me look more obvious than anything else I've done in the entire game. My outfit certainly doesn't help matters. Ooh, don't look at me, I'm wearing bright red and I've dyed my head scarlet. I'm camouflaged, apparently. Nobody look at the bright red gangly thing that's jumping around like a lunatic. He's invisible. This sequence reminds me of the Polar Express, which makes me want to kill people even more. I'm just going to pretend this guy is CGI Tom Hanks. Mmm, that felt good. You see, most other players would try the diplomatic approach to this, and they'd they'd wind up in about 500 other side quests. I'm, I'm quite content to murder everybody in cold blood. Seems much more efficient. I swear, this is the third time this week that I've been lurking in somebody's attic with a knife. It's rather uncanny. Ah, yes, this is where I transform into a bat and fly across the... Oh, I have to walk them. Oh, okay. That, that's good too, I guess. Again, I do have to question the stealthiness of this approach. What was that? Nothing, just your imminent death approaching from the rafters, don't mind me. Remember all those classic tales of vampires and their tightrope walking skills? It's really paying off right now. Where is Manic with that bloody soda anyway? This is like that part in Mario Brothers where you just jump over the world and walk all the way to the finish line. I like doing that, I'm very lazy when it comes to achieving goals. That's why it took me five seasons to even enact my revenge. All my fans like to chalk it up to my machinations being long-term, but really I'm just very slow. Can't be bothered most of the time, you know. And now to land with the cat-like grace of a vampire- Oh, okay. Nobody look at me, please. I said don't look at me. Ah, yes, this. Nobody will notice me doing this. You know, if this were Elder Scrolls, I could walk right up to somebody, shoot them in the face with an arrow, and then leave, and they'd be like, what was that? Ooh, looks like I really need to get a manicure or something. My nails are all fuzzy and vague, and the pixels are all blocky. Uh, good question. What the bloody hell was that noise? Was somebody flushing a toilet? What the... Oh, victims! Hello, there you are. I'm Bakora. I'll be the one brutally murdering you today. Don't worry, I've done this many times before. That's right, that's the sound of satisfaction. When you get killed by Bakora, you know that you're going to die efficiently and effectively. I never leave a job unfinished. All my customers die dissatisfied. 
Which in my line of work is a good thing. I like the magical glowing balls that appear above all the items. The developers must have been like, how do we get the players to notice that there are items there? I know, let's just shower it with magical balls. Then they'll be like, ooh, magical balls. Oh, look, an item too. Because who can't resist magical balls? I'm sure there are people out there who would question the stealthiness of running into a room and just randomly stabbing people, but so far it seems to have worked out. Well, now I definitely don't feel any remorse for killing these people. They only serve decaf. Although in their defense, they do seem to subscribe to Bitch Frenzy. They can't be all that bad. <laughs> Time to use my supernatural vampiric abilities to plant this bomb and blow up the building. Uh, just like Dracula would. Uh... Oh, is this a surprise party? Oh, bullets, you shouldn't have. It's the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> Whoever said you shouldn't bring a knife to a gunfight obviously never fought me. I swear, the way these people recoil from my knife blows, it's like I'm stabbing them with the holy hand grenade of Antioch or something. It sounds like someone needs their healer. Who the bloody hell are you? Whatever the hell that was, it was hairier than Robin Williams. I'm just going to leg it for the time being. If Satan wanted me to fight, he would have turned me into a vampire that wasn't completely useless. Hey, Pecora, I brought you a soda. I don't want a bloody soda. I got you some Mountain Dew. You said you were getting me Diet Coke. Well, you said you didn't want a soda. Oh, fine. Here, you take over the game. I'm, I'm done with this. This is bollocks. Bunch of bloody vampires that aren't really bloody vampires, I don't know. Thank you for keeping the chair warm for my butt, Bacora. I did no such thing. Oh, you're right, it's ice cold. What's wrong with your butt? Okay, so what's going on now? What happened? Well, I used the astrolite to blow up this building and... Wait, the astrolite had a purpose? Hey, Dick, I'm trying to find out what astrolite does. How dare you get in the way of my education? I don't know who you are, but I only have 1 minute 43 seconds to do whatever the frig it is I'm doing. Did I just get bitch slapped by a were hyena? And ta-da, he's gone. My magic trick was a success. The secret of the illusion is to stab people until they disappear. Uh, oh, hey, a trailer. Is this what they call trailer trash? Because it's very trashy in here. Aha! What? 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 What's all the freaking noises? Everyone's freaking out for some reason. What is happening? Well, with all these trains, I feel like I should be singing country music songs. I'm a vampire, my wife left me, cause I'm a vampire, and I had a- What the? Suddenly, it's Teen Wolf. I regret nothing! Ow! Look there in the background, that's where the Animaniacs live. Look, I know they're gorgeous, but please don't hump my legs. Uh, Belgarat the Sorcerer? The warehouse. Your handiwork. I presume? Holy frig, it's Takahata 101! 